Okay, so this is my second corrections file. You wanted me to do a line over from episode two, Sick Love. I'm going to do it once, maybe twice, just in case the first one doesn't feel right, or, you know, so you have more options to pick from. I'm going to do the lead in line so I can get more into character. <clears throat> Grim, quit mingling with the morons and go make me a sandwich. Excuse me? Actually, I think that that's okay, but, you know, if it isn't for you or there's any other lines that you didn't think were done the way you wanted to, let me know and I'll be able to send you a file back as early as Monday. Okay, thank you. I have to admit... Gladys was the best thing I've eaten in a while. She was quite tender. Harold, he could have been better. Just shut up and get the darn spider out. <sighs> Fine. I didn't want to have to do this, but you have pushed me too far. I have to admit... Gladys was the best thing I've eaten in a while. She was quite tender. I have to admit, Gladys was the best thing I've eaten in a while. She was quite tender. Harold, he could have been better. Harold, he could have been better. Yeah about that yeah about that that spider left quite a massive leak in my roof and with the rains coming in soon I can't just stay in this room all defenseless so I'll have to sleep at your house for the meantime that spider left quite a massive leak in my roof and with the rains coming in soon, I can't just stay in this room all defenseless. So, I'll have to sleep in your house in the meantime. But we just want to take your temperature! Psych! It's a shot! Now bend over! I'm so scared! What if I climb the weight and I'm like super fat? Or what if I don't get the readings because the scale broke in half? Oh, I'm scared! I wish I had your cold, black heart, Mandy! Weight doesn't scare you one bit! I like to not let the prospect of fatness bother me. Besides, I always eat my health food. What? Alright, lady, let's make it fast! I have an appointment with my modeling agent. I'd rather not be late. Okay, just step on the scale and we'll take you away. Watch and learn, fatty pants. I'm about to set y'all a standard. I'm fat! I'm a roly-poly bon bon. A sumo wrestler, a walrus, I don't believe it, I, I, ah. Well, look how the mighty have fallen. C keep your dirty paws off me, you, you losers! <gasps> My agent! Billy got himself punched through a wall. Mindy. Take a hike, chubby buns! <sighs> she got thrown out of her career for gaining a millionth of a kilogram of weight. No! I agree with the bonehead. She's getting what she deserves. <clears throat> Excuse me? Uh, all the other seats are taken and... Since I'm technically one of you guys now, I suppose I could sit with you guys? Grim's right. You've had it too easy for too long. It's about time you tasted the cake you baked. Shut it, Billy. 
You always looked down on everyone you saw, even those clearly superior to you. Now it's time you face the music. But... I... <sighs> Go away. Oh, Billy. The dumbest kid in school, and apparently the most sickeningly loyal, too. Who else would come all the way here to visit a washed-up hag like me, but the only kid in school crazy enough to befriend a washed-up death god and what I can only assume is Hades' ex-girlfriend? Just go away, Billy. I'm a lost cause. Look at me, Billy. Just look where I am right now. I've lost my career, I've lost my beauty, and all those I saw as friends abandoned ship the moment they knew. Heck, I'm such a big loser, even all the other losers call me a loser. I guess that makes me the biggest loser. Face it, Billy, I'm not good for television anymore. I might as well work in the gym as a barbell, or in some sumo ring in Seoul. You slapped me in the face! I wasn't always a bag of beef! I used to be a delicate little petal. A pampered pooch, even. And besides, I used to be so slim that if I looked behind me, I could see my heels from the back. But now, I can barely see my toes from the front. Must be because I lost hope. Why are you doing this, Billy? And how are you so smart all of a sudden? Okay. <sighs> Lottie Lumps. Well, well, well. I knew you'd really sink when your precious career went down the drain, but you seem to have hit rock bottom. Or may I say, big bottom. <laughs> I mean, just look at you. You're so tubby. I bet even your skin's custom made. <gasps> I mean, how else would you stoop so low and make friends with the dumbest kid in school? Sulu? You're her agent now? No, it's not! It is now, fatty cakes. Ha <laughs> <coughs> I wish I could insult you all day, but I have business to take care of. So long, sag hag! <laughs> uh, that's it! I'm tired of living under the shadow that used to be my shadow with other people living under it! Billy! Let's go lose approximately zero pounds. <gasps> really? Don't get too excited. We still hate you beyond a reasonable doubt, so watching you work your butt off like a peasant almost makes me smile. Shut up, Billy. Now, let the montage of misery begin. <sighs> Uh, on second thought, I want more x 
exercise. Too late to pull out now. Wow! I'm a hottie again! Thank you, Jake! Don't do it. Trust me, giving him a brain is a waste of time. Well, now that I'm back to my beautiful self, I don't have to hang around with you losers anymore. But before I kick you to the curb, we need to do one more thing. Hold it. I smell mediocrity. I know you are. But what am I? Mindy? <laughs> so little Miss Chubby Wubby Cheesecake has come to play squash, huh? Well, I'll let you play. Because we need a ball. And you... What the... Something ain't right. That's right, Skinny Salon. I slimmed down. Oh, but it wasn't easy. I had to exercise, eat healthy, and get beaten up by magic boxing hounds. What? But it was all worth it. I'm all sexy again. Well, I mean, for a preteen. Ugh. Well, it, it doesn't matter. I'm still the skinnier one, and I have set the standard of hot for this side of the hood. And you know what? You don't got jack on me. I own this school. I own yo Sulu, and I own you. So why don't you go back to the cave where you came from? Stone Age is over. So you see, it doesn't matter what you do. Go on a diet. Become anorexic. Who cares? You'll forever live under my shadow because you are nothing but a big fat piece of g garbage. <laughs> my perfect life <laughs> ruined. <laughs> Our motivator was a lie. My life has lost all meaning. <laughs> I can't believe I went anorexic for nothing! What are we supposed to do now? What? How did you come up with that? Ugh. Of course, Sulu. You're my agent. Well, for this episode at least. Well, she's still an annoying snob. Hey, uh, I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you guys, and I was wondering if you could, you know, maybe we could be friends? Of course I forgive you. Everyone makes mistakes every once in a- LOOK IT'S A MCDONALD'S! WHERE?! That's for the snot web, loser! Okay, girlfriend, be sure to dust that place before you sit. It's covered in loser germs. To see you acknowledge that I'm better than you, and to say you don't deserve to be on the same planet as me. See? We're getting somewhere. I'm sorry. Did you just imply that I, Mindy, the hottest girl in the whole wide world, am afraid of that good-for-nothing, plain, frowny-faced goblin? Well... This is what I have to say about that. Mandy, don't got spit on me. I am better than her and there is nothing you or anyone else can do to change that. Okay? Good. Let's go, Trina. This bench was crawling with loser germs anyway. Hmm. Nice cow. of hurt. Mind if I stand you up? Ah, uh, just a concerned little girl. I've seen what you've been through lately, and methinks you need someone to ease the burden. Oh, sure. 
Let's go with that. You don't have to worry, lad. I'm as loyal as they get. No, you're not! Don't encourage him, Billy! Don't you dare run off on me again! Hello, Billy! Don't just leave me hanging here, lad. Open up! Sorry I'm late, Billy. Had to go to the girls' room on the way here. Yes, and you never asked for me name, either. As for your house, I saw your father dressed as some cheesy 1960s superhero being chased by an angry redhead lady with a broom. And given your colorful personality and the resemblance with your dad, I just put the puzzle pieces together. Oh. It's Esmeralda Pinewood, you cloudland-dwelling kook. Fine, then. But I don't think it'll stick. <gasps> Talking skeleton! Ah! Ah! Don't let him kill me! Really? Note to self. Never die. Uh... What did happen to her, anyway? Uh... Billy? Why do you have a plunger? You mean, unclog it. And how are you going to achieve that with a plunger? Hm. Huh. Well, that's dumb. No fiber means he'll be stuck in there for ages. Hey, Grim. Torturing himself. Weirder than you. You're disgusting. And that concludes our session on proving that the theory of relativity is false. Now... Give me your homework. Well, is anyone submitting? Or did you chowderheads not do it at all? Billy, you first. Wh what kind of joke is this? I never thought I would see the day. You actually did your homework. Your homework. You actually did it for once in your life! And it's grade A material, too! Who cares? You did your homework! I knew you could do it. It... brings out my eyes. Okay, class. Now, who else would like to surprise me today? Where did that brick come from? Don't you hi mom me, young man! Just look at this pigsty of a... Room? Oh, that's funny. I remember coming into this room this morning after you... Huh. I guess... You did clean your room. <laughs> well... None that I know of, but your dad has. Ever since I accidentally contemplated divorce out loud... Poor Harold has been switching from his usual, lovably bumbling self to some smart aleck, deviously calculating business counselor, and sometimes even Batman. Uh, so I... What the heck are you talking about? Yes, I do. But why would I want to do your homework? I was actually looking forward to seeing you get whipped. Please. You know I'd never go near your putrid room. No. First off, why would I care if your sandwich was stolen? It wasn't like I was going to eat it. And besides, I don't need a truncheon to take down Spurg. I have a fist for that. Nice try. Repressed feelings, my butt. Oh, hey, Grim. <sighs> How are you doing? Why did I ask you that? Oh, well, good night. What? What? I'm awake. That cheesy pirate show again. I don't know how or when you got so obsessed with pirates, Billy, but it's doing you no good. Kiss off, Erwin. 
what just happened. Something is not right. Grim, why did you just obey Billy? Hi, losers! How has your pathetic excuse for lives been? Oh, wow! Is that your pirate voice? It's so cool! Not! <laughs> Pirates are so Stone Age times! Nobody asked you, Grim. For once, I agree with Goldie Horns over here. Shut up, Bonehead. I excuse me? Did you just tell me to shut it? Nobody tells me to shut it! No one! Oh, really? Aye, aye, Captain. Yes, Captain. What just happened? Grim, that pirate voice of his. Somehow it commands complete obedience from whoever he uses it to talk to. Let me see if I can at least reason with him. Yeah, I realized the moment I said it. Hey, Billy. I need to talk to you about this pirate voice of yours. At first, yes, but it's corrupted your mind, made you drunk with power, and now you've overstepped your boundary. You need to stop using it, or else. Yes, I dare. Whoa! Where'd you get those? Never. I would rather walk all the planks in the world while also getting my fingers chopped off than to bend to the will of an over-glorified simpleton! Ugh. Don't you ever make me do that again. Ugh. You do realize I just devoured a live parrot, right? Great. So he's talkative and a stereotype. How convenient. Ugh, Billy has become too powerful. He has to be stopped. Ugh. Yeah, but first, I need a bathroom break. The parrot isn't exactly sitting well. That'll be enough for one day, Billy. Billy. Nope. Just Billy. I thought I got rid of you during my toilet break. Ugh. Get him, Grim! Oof. There. Now for a toilet break. Yeah. And too bad about your voice. Even though I don't care much about it, I know how much you liked it. 